Hey guys, Megan here. So today's gonna be a little bit different than what I usually talk about um, because I wanted to give you a little bit of an insight into <laughs> the tech nerd that I am, but also um, the marketing gear that I use or plan to use for my YouTube channel. I know a lot of you aren't necessarily wanting to build a YouTube channel, which is totally fine and understandable, but um, you often have questions about like, what do I need? Do I need this kind of thing? Do I need that kind of thing? Um, is this going to help me market my business more? Is this something that is worthwhile investing in? And all those kind of questions. So I wanted to show you the most recent things that I have purchased for my YouTube channel in order to help essentially make it easier to get all of this stuff out to you and make sure that you are getting as much value from my channel as possible. So I want to show you my new monitor and we're gonna be doing an unboxing of it in this video. This monitor is from Feel World, which <laughs> clearly that is a Chinese brand. And I wanted this monitor because I can't wear my glasses in these videos because the reflection just comes right in my eyes and just makes me look like an insane person. I'm nearsighted and I can't see my screen that well over there that is attached to the camera. And so I wanna make sure that I'm coming in clear and that I don't have like, you know, Oreos in my teeth or something. So that's one of the reasons I bought it now. Do you need a monitor? It really depends on one, <laughs> your vision. Two, what kind of marketing are you planning to do for your business? So if you're a freelance writer like I am, is that something necessary? No, probably not, unless you are using video to help market your business. If you are someone who has a product-based business, then I think that video should really be something that you're implementing, especially if you sell online. A lot of things I notice that new solopreneurs don't really think about when they're writing their product description for a physical product is that you have to find some way to mimic the experience of holding something in your hand that you can't because, you know, it's e-commerce. So I think that if you're not really good at understanding how to write copy or product descriptions, or, you know, you want to have a better way to show the word in my head is manipulate, but maybe that's not the right word. But how you manipulate something in your hand, like a phone or, you know, like this lens cap, like I can tell you this is two inches, but if your customer doesn't really, can't like put that together in their head, like I can't, I'm terrible at that. It's easier to see it in someone's hand. And so that's why I think video is really important for product-based businesses and why a monitor might be necessary for you. Now, if you're a service-based solopreneur, again, like a writer, I don't really see the point of it for you unless you feel like video marketing is really something that's gonna be advantageous for your business. So unless you are doing a YouTube channel and are nearsighted like me, or you're running a product-based business, then I think that this probably is a skippable video for you if you are running a product-based business or you wanna start a YouTube channel, I think this is really gonna be really something cool for you. So I'm gonna to switch to my other camera and we're gonna do a deep dive in. Okay, so. Okay, here is the monitor and I actually got it along with a case. Super happy about that. I got it on AliExpress for about $95 and the set I got was like gift with gift two and the gift was this guy, the case. So I recommend it if you, I don't know, you just wanna protect your stuff. It was really hard to find a case otherwise. So yeah, um, I'd recommend picking up the set with the case. And if you want, I can just open it up, show you the case. And this was the adapter that it comes with in the kit. Another thing that is super hard to find. Um, I asked for the US version of the plug and they were very kind enough to send it for me. So thank you to the seller at AliExpress. But you see like it has a 
in here for little goodies and things. All right, you don't care about the keys. Let's get to the thing. Let's get to the camera. So this is the sun shield for the monitor. And it's, you can see it's fuzzy. It's like um, felt with Velcro. And then it just kind of, you know, goes on the monitor like that to shield the reflection from the sun. Got the manual. And here we are. Oh, I love a good film, don't you? So let me put it the right way and see we've got mode, menu, all of these functions, power, I doubt it has, yeah, it doesn't have a battery in it or anything, um, any kind of power source just yet. So turning it over, this is a battery mount um, it takes a Sony battery, um, and I think you can see, tells you what kind of battery uh, model number it needs. So I have that, and this already came attached, but I think that I can take this off if I was so inclined. Um, but here we have inputs, DC, HDMI, audiovisual, headphones, controller, USB or mini USB, I guess. Top, nothing really interesting. The other side, nothing really interesting. On the bottom, a screw in mount. So that is the monitor. In here, we also have HDMI plugs, and this will connect my camera to the monitor. This is Ah, yes, to put it onto a tripod or um, boom mic stand, whatever the thing is. Allen wrench. And then the handle for the thing. All right, so let's see if I can actually do this while we're filming and turn it on. Let's see if we can get it. It might not work just yet because to be honest, I have not <laughs> read the instructions yet. So I'm not sure how well this will work just yet, but let's give it a shot and see what happens. That and not. Ah, actually, this won't work because it needs a micro. Actually, I bought one on Amazon. Sorry, this way. Let's see if I bought the right one. I might have to return it. Yep, have to return it. So, okay, that's a bummer. And where's this one go? Let's see, ready? Here we go. And there you have it. This is like layers and layers of looking into things, but there you go. You can see how this works. And I wish I could show you that the viewfinder on my camera is now off. So it's all gonna feed right in here, but there you go. So let's see if we can. That was creepy. And they're just playing around.
This will be so helpful until I get my LASIK. Oh my God. I am so pumped for this. And because I wouldn't leave you hanging, let's do it. Ready? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Can I get this off or not? Okay. So satisfying. Okay. And there's a little thing the right way for you. Let me see. Just letting you know that this monitor can get hot, but I think that this is going to be really exciting and I am uh, so happy that I'll be able to actually see what I'm doing now. So yeah, that is my Feel World monitor. Uh, I'm pretty excited to get it started. Probably put it over here somewhere so I can see much better until I get my LASIK surgery. I don't even know how that's gonna help. Any tangent, sorry, you know how I am. So I hope that this video was interesting for you. My next video, we're going to get into something I am super excited about. And if you are interested in uh, tech that is not super expensive, but kind of fun, then you're gonna wanna check out my next video all about unboxing my new teleprompter and why I'm so excited about it. So if you like this video, could you do me a favor? Can you boop that like button? It tells YouTube that I'm doing a good job and that they should pass this out to more people. And if you like these types of videos and think I'm also doing a good job overall, please subscribe to my channel because I would love to see you here. In the meantime, tell me the tech that you're interested in getting. What have you been eyeing up lately? Are you waiting for any kind of Black Friday sales or something? I am a tech nerd when it comes to marketing. I love this kind of stuff. So I wanna see what you're interested in too. So leave a comment below and let me know what you're checking out. I'll talk to you later.